Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by my special guest. This is my mom. Hi! And today we're going to do a makeup haul of some of the stuff that we got from Sephora. So we're just going to alternate showing products to you guys. So the first thing I'll go with is these lashes. These are velour lashes and my mom picked these out. Um, they're silk lashes and then it comes with a glue and a like little tool to help you put them on. But they're handmade silk and so they looked really cool. So very yeah. full. So yeah, she has her matching pair. <laughs> so I got this Clarins hand and nail treatment cream and it is amazing. I tried it on. I was looking for something since my hands get so dry in the winter time, especially right now. Yeah. And so I, I'm liking it. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave you feeling greasy after you put it on and you just feel really nice and smooth and hydrated basically. So great product. And then I also got this YSL Fusion Ink Foundation that I used to wear. I probably used it in some of my old videos, um, but I wanted to try it again and the box is kind of destroyed, but it was the last one in this shade and it's in the shade ivory or b20 and it just looks like this and it's really good for it's really lightweight and um also super mattifying as well okay and i got this grande or grand lips hydrating lip plumber yeah. and so on the back i don't know if you can really see but it shows like before and after maybe so i'm hoping mm -hmm. that this will be both hydrating and like plumping so just to help out with fuller, prettier lips. And then I also got this NARS pressed powder in the shade Beach, and I've actually been looking for this in uh, tons of different Sephoras that I've been into, and then the one that we went to today had it. They have it in, I think, three different skin shades, so I just got this one, and it looks like it might be refillable. But yeah, so this is just a little pressed powder for setting foundation and concealer. So I went a little crazy in the skincare section and I've been looking for a new skincare product. Um, I've been using one that I really like, SK2, but sometimes I like to like use one whole bottle up, which I did, and then try another product and see which one I like and it's easier for me to tell if I'm not mixing them at the same time. So this one was recommended by Andrea and um, this one is the Renewing Eye Cream by Murad, and supposedly this will literally change my life in two or three days. It's supposed to be really immediate, so I'm super excited about it, and once you hit a certain age, it's really important to take good care of your skin. I mean, I've been doing it for years. Keep you up to date on how this looks, but it's just a little pump, and you don't need much at all, and so I'm super excited about it. And then I also got two... Um, Stila Seo de Liquid Lipsticks and one of them you guys know I mentioned in my 2016 beauty favorites it's uh, Patina which I have on right now I misplaced my other one so I need to find that but for right now I'm just going to use this one and then I also got the shade I don't even know Bocce or Bossy? Yeah something like that and it is a little bit of a lighter version of patina but it just looks like that so it's a little bit lighter than what I have on now and I love these they're really long lasting and they're not too drying so these are awesome okay so then I also got the Murad uh, hydrodynamic ultimate moisture it's 24 hour hydration so this one is for day cream and it has coconut extract and Hy hyaluronic hyaluronic <laughs> acid technology so and shea butter avocado sunflower olive fruit so lots of really great ingredients and i'm super excited to try this so this is the daytime before um any primer or foundation and then i also got a another nars radiant creamy concealer and i noticed that in one of my tutorials it just since my skin is getting lighter the concealer isn't like light enough now to create that like contrast for highlight so i got one shade lighter and this is i think the lightest shade and it's in the shade chantilly mm. i wanted to try a little bit lighter for under my eyes to kind of highlight and use also in the center of my face 
Loved that trick when she taught it to me. This is a uh, intense matte lip and cheek pencil. It's by Nude Sticks and I'd never seen it, but today while we were in, I was just looking, I kind of went crazy for the matte lipsticks and I was yeah. looking for tons. It's kind of cool because it comes with a lip sharpener. So this is a sharpener that when I was in the store slides on and then, so you take this lid off once you open it and then slide this one on. Oh, actually no, sorry, it goes on this way. So you always have a sharpener handy, but it's covered, yeah, so it's really nice. cool. And the color is amazing and I got it in the color Tamed. I swatched it while I was there. I think I had like 50 million swatches, yeah. but it looks amazing, so I'm excited to try it. And then I also got a brow gel. This is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. I have noticed that my brows kind of get wonky during the day. Even though I use the Dip Brow Pomade, they don't like stay exactly in place. So I wanted to get just a gel that I could use on top. So it looks like this and I, yeah, it's just like a clear brow gel. Okay, and then I, like I said, I went a little crazy, so I got, I couldn't decide between shades, so I tried this one also by Nude Sticks, and this one is in the shade Purity. It's very close. It's a little hard to see, but this one's a little more brown, maybe? Mm -hmm. The Purity is a little more brown, and the Tamed is a little more, a little pink more pinky. Yeah. Okay. And then we also got these little Sephora bags and it's like an assortment it has three sizes so the first the biggest one is for toiletries and then it says there's a smaller one on the inside go ahead and take it out and it's for makeup and then the very in inner one is for touch up so you can take this out and put it in your bag and you can just have like powder mascara whatever and then your all of your makeup and then your toiletries so this is a really cool travel set and it's a sephora brand so and it's like a little mesh yeah. which is nice so you can see where all your stuff is okay and then we also got the hourglass immaculate liquid powder foundation and this is specifically for oily skin it is oil free and it's cool kind of the concept of it you take it Oh, I guess it comes not with the pump on it. So it looks like this, and then this is the pump, and it is mattifying and oil-free, and when you put it on, it's just really smooth and lightweight, and it just keeps you matte all day. So um, I'm excited to try this out in a video for you guys soon. It's really pretty. Yeah, we both got this in the shade Porcelain. So I've been watching Kylan recently with all of her beautiful lashes, and she's gotten me on a kick of lashes too and I'm trying to learn but I've been buying lots up and I'm gonna start practicing soon <laughs> I'm not a pro by any means or there yet at all but so I got these these are the Huda Beauty yeah. Huda Beauty and they're in the Farrah number 12 the faux mink so they're very long and full and I'm really excited about trying them again I have to take a lot more lessons and learn and I'm just dying about those eyebrows on the back too I'm obsessed with eyebrows lately yeah and then we also both got the Kat Von D metal matte eyeshadow palette and yeah it's huge it has a wide range of colors in the back it is magnetic closure and so these colors are really pretty so it has some neutrals and it goes into pinkish purple, green, blue, and then black and white at the end. Before I started watching more of the videos and tutorials, like I would never have bought a palette like that because I would have been like, I would never wear any of these colors. Mm -hmm. But because of like being turned on to YouTube and all the different um, gurus out there that do beauty and makeup and watching Kylan I've been so excited and like started trying colors that I would have never tried before so I'm excited and now I'm not scared to try new colors yeah so this is super fun so we both got one it's like huge Just mother like and daughter twinnies <laughs> gosh nude sticks number three <laughs> yes so for sure I did get three this one is a much darker color, and um, this one is in the color, can you read that? 
My eyes are really bad. Icon? Icon. Oh, and this one is like more of a deep plum. I was having a hard time finding like a good liner. I think I found one that will go with most of them and then I can just blend it out. But these actually, the tip is really sharp. So you can line and do your lip color or just line or do this for your cheek because it's like a blended stick for that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really amazing and it's matte. And so I feel like it's gonna be a long wear. Um, product, so I'm excited about it. This is my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D in her most popular shade, which is Lolita. And it's kind of a darker shade. I was kind of nervous about it, but I think it'll be really pretty. In the formula, this is a little bit more liquidy than the Stila one. It's very pretty. So this it's a little is deeper, the Kat darker. Von D. Yeah, it's a little darker and it goes on much like more smoothly than I would say the Stila one. And this is another one of my, I did like the whole line cause she was amazing talking me into everything, but I'm really big on like, let me do the whole thing just to make sure. So this is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer with Environmental Shield Hydrate Protect Murad. And so this one is for nighttime and supposedly just kind of helps your face detox at night. A lot of vitamin C and brightening and things like that. So I'm, and plumping. So supposed to have a lot of really neat products um, within it. And I'm excited to try this. Yeah, but it's a latex free rose scented glue. Interesting. So yeah, I'll have to try out the glue. I usually use the Duo Black Glue because I like that it dries and doesn't mess up the eyeliner, but I'll have to try that one out. And then this is the another pair of the Fair Number no. 12 from Huda Beauty. And then she also got the Bare Minerals Gin Nude in, it's another matte color, and it's actually called Icon, which is funny because the other color was called that. I think, is that the one that smells chocolate? Oh yeah, so she said they smell like... Does it smell like chocolate? Yeah, it smells a little bit like chocolate. This one is kind of similar to the shade that I got in Kat Von D. So it's on the very end. And are you wearing it? Yes. I'm yeah, and she's right wearing this one right now. Getting on with more of my beauty. So this is a um, renewal serum, serum and it's resurgent. So it's more for firming and lifting. And again, you would just put this on um, after you've cleansed and then it's a retinol booster, but supposedly like think of it without the retinol in it. It doesn't have the drying. It firms and evens the tone and boosts radiance and things. So it's again, like touted to be an amazing product. So for my skin, I think I'm really going to be excited about seeing how all these work out. Your eyes should love me very much. <laughs> so the other product I got was the renewing cleansing cream. Um, it's got um, an enzyme, a papaya enzyme, an algae extract, an apricot and starflower oils. So for hydration and skin res resilience and then making it not so dull and leaving it soft and smooth. I like to change my cleansers and things up. So I'm excited about trying this because I had used the other product for, I guess, since Mother's Day. It took, mm -hmm. like I used the other product for a really long time because they usually Products yeah. like this usually last for a long time, so now it's time for a new one. This is the hydrating toner that she said I must try as well. So again, it just helps lock in the moisture and keep in the suppleness. It's got a cucumber fruit extract and supposedly like soothing to if you have ir irritation or things like that. And then I got the um, Stila Stay All Day Matte lipstick in the color I have no Coquille idea. or Co Coco <laughs> C-O-Q-U-I-L-L-E -L -L -E. yeah and it's um it's really pretty too it's more of a nudie brown this is what it comes in and then this is the color yeah it's very pretty and then I got these two like I said I was kind of on a lipstick roll today but I um, was just trying to find like liners. And so I got, I thought these were really cool the way they named them, Zinfandel and Pink Moscato, because those are amazing drinks. I had them all swatched and I put these on and they seem like they'll be a good match to yeah. if I wore those as a lipstick and then these with a the liner or vice versa. So I think a lot of times you can mix and match, but I'm excited about these colors. There's another liner that I've had that's kind of like this. It looks kind of like tart the tart yeah is. yeah that like come it. the tartest yeah so that's what it looks and like does it twist up or does it sharpen it it twists, it twists up. up so it's yeah a, it's it's a little darker than the than the packaging, packaging yeah 
so they're a little different and this one is Zinfandel was the one she just watched and and this one's a little more like rosy yeah that's this one so this one is pink Moscato that yeah. she has just swatched super excited yeah. yeah, so that was everything for our haul. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. Nice to see you. Bye. <laughs>